Welcome back. We are now going from navigating health and happiness in 2021 to navigating dating. I recently spoke with a dating expert all about online dating. What can you do if you're intimidated by using an app and what are the trends right now? Well, let's find out. 2020 was a roller coaster year, upending all of our norms, including the world of dating. Joining us now to discuss some new trends in the dating world is Claire O'Connor, head of editorial content at Bumble, the popular online dating app. Claire, thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. So we know dating in 2020 was like everything else, unlike any other year. So how exactly did the pandemic up in the world of dating, though? Yeah, you're right. I mean, in the same way that our social lives and work lives and children's school lives were completely upended, dating is no different. Um, I would say one of the main trends we saw uh, was what we're calling slow dating. So about 55% of our user base in our recent research said that they were taking much longer to move their matches offline. So whereas in the before times, it might be a case of swiping and matching and messaging and then almost immediately going for drinks, now it might be sort of months of, you know, having video chats and phone calls and then maybe eventually going for a socially distanced walk. So I think what we've seen is this, uh, you know, folks are being much more intentional um, and thinking closely and carefully about they want, what they want out of a relationship. And what are some dating trends that you're noticing as we head into 2021? So as we head into 2021, we've identified this cohort that we're calling New Dawn Daters. Um, now, these are folks who, and there's actually about a quarter of folks who are on our app and looking to date uh, in this new year, um, who experienced a breakup during the pandemic. Um, as you can imagine, sometimes that was because folks were separated from their partners during lockdown or quarantine, or sometimes that was because folks suddenly found themselves, let me just start that bit again. Um, sometimes it was because, you know, folks were separated from their loved ones during the pandemic and lockdown. And sometimes it's because they suddenly found themselves spending 24 seven with someone um, and they maybe realized that that wasn't for them. Um, so they're getting back out there sometimes after a very long time, um, but we're really sort of heartened by the fact that they seem very enthusiastic and optimistic about putting themselves out there and getting on Bumble. Which is actually really good to hear. What are people looking for in a new date and a new partner as they are embarking in this new dating world? Well, you know, we love to see that 56% uh, of our user base in our recent research uh, said that they think that this is going to be their year. 2021 is going to be their year to find love, um, which we just think is wonderful. But in terms of what exactly they're looking for, I think because there's still so much uncertainty in the pandemic, it's sort of split down the middle. We have around half of our user base saying they're looking for something serious and the other half wants to keep it casual. But, you know, it's really understandable. We're, we're just not sure when this is going to end. So very true, unfortunately. So do you have any dating tips or advice to help us get started during this time? Yeah, I mean, my first piece of advice is, of course, to download Bumble wherever you would normally download an app. Um, and then take full advantage of that Bumble profile. So use every single character and word in your bio. Uh, make sure you're saying as much about yourself as you can in that space. And the same goes for photos. We allow you to upload six, so upload all six. Um, and I would say for sure, make sure that first photo um, that folks see when they get to your profile is your face, you know, a pretty close crop, hopefully smiling, not wearing sunglasses, no funny filters, just you. Um, and then maybe wait a little and you can use one of the subsequent photos to include some friends or your dog, but that first photo is what folks are gonna see right off the bat. And do you have any advice for people that are really apprehensive about using a dating app? Maybe people who are a little bit older and haven't been dating for years and they find themselves in this whole new world. How can they kind of overcome that nervousness and apprehension? Totally understandable. First, I would say that, you know, Bumble was built with safety and equity in mind. So especially in heterosexual matches, women make the first move. So we want to kind of set the table from the start. Um, so it's a sort of respectful experience that feels safe and welcoming. Um, we've also, you know, since the pandemic started, instituted, you know, some, some technology in order to keep you safe and make you feel like, you know, this is a sort of environment where you're not taking extra risks because everything does feel so risky right now. So actually in the app itself, we have a video chat and voice call functionality so that if you do meet someone, you can, you know, have that video chat with them without giving away any of your personal info, no number, no email. So we just hope folks are able to use the technology we have inside our product 
you know, to get out there, to meet folks virtually for now, and to feel like, you know, they're as safe as possible. That's really good to know. And I assume the website is the best place to get more information, or where can we go? Yeah, well, you can download the app. Otherwise, um, actually, what we've done is put together a really comprehensive guide to dating in 2021, obviously covering COVID and the pandemic, too. So if you go to bumble.com slash dating guide, there's going to be lots of advice and tips. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Claire, for joining us today and letting us know about the trends and helpful advice in dating in 2021. Thank you.